Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome to another weekly reading vlog where I let you guys know in a vlog sort of style what I get up to with my reading and what I get up to in my life as well, whether that's with work or editing videos, watching movies, TV shows, that sort of thing. I'm quite an introvert, so my life isn't really that exciting. Um, but I just wanted to share with you the progress that I've done so far for Monday. So I woke up this morning feeling really, really rough again and I was like, seriously? So um, I had to postpone my plans of staying over at Ben's and I had to come home. So I came home and I haven't like gone to bed yet but I'm feeling really sort of like drugged because I came back and I took some day nurse and I had some food but I wasn't really hungry I was just sort of eating for the sake of eating really but I had a couple of light boxes so as you can see right now um, I've got a little mini light box that says Kit Kats can read on it and the other one is one that you can write your own little message on so for this one I've just put like the title of what book video it's going to be and I feel like this would be like a really sort of interesting back set to my videos and there is my new laptop for you with the glowing keys on it and as you can see currently editing a video which is funny enough my weekly reading vlog for last week so back to today I actually haven't done really a lot of reading I've read like a chapter of Shell by Paul Ross on today and that's just like whilst I was like home I had little funny little tummy moments I was like oh so I read a little chapter however here is my little box of coloured bits of paper that I told you I was cutting up the other day and as you can see I've got a little board here and this is what I write my either TBR bits of paper on or here's my <laughs> monthly recommendations jar. Basically I'm watching people's favourite videos of 2017, putting everybody's recommendations in this jar then every month I'm putting out a couple and I'm reading them because I want to read the books that you guys are reading and especially if like popular books like for example the hate you give is in nearly everybody's top video so every time somebody mentions that I just put it in don't matter if it's been mentioned once I'm putting it in every time so there's more chances that I will pick out the hate you give so it's a very full jar at the moment it's kind of overflowing but I'm hoping nobody's gonna upload any more favorite videos of the year but I am really enjoying watching people's favorite videos so don't get me wrong I absolutely love it so that's all I've really done so far after I've watched these there's only a few videos I need to watch of these favorite videos after I've caught up on them I'm going to lay down I'm going to try and get some reading done if I find that I really am too well to focus on reading I'm going to get some rest to the best of my ability I've had so much water already um, but I I'm back at work tomorrow but I'm working 2 p.m. so it's not so bad at least it's not like early in the morning but I'm still gonna I'm gonna be good and go into work like nothing is gonna stop me I'm gonna man up because it's only a sort of like roughness of a cold so I'm gonna do that um, and yeah I feel like that's gonna be the plan just to sort of like see how today goes really but I will let you guys know tomorrow if I manage to get any reading done and what I managed to get up to in the evening so I will see you guys then welcome to the next day which is Tuesday and I'm here to update you on my reading that I have done so far to be honest I'm gonna be honest haven't done any I watched the fifth wave movie last night and I actually really really enjoyed it didn't get to sleep until about two o'clock in the morning and then I eventually dozed off but I had a very sort of disturbed sleep I kept waking up about three times so I went to work and when I started at two o'clock feeling really really tired I was quite productive when I got up I got up at 12 I had a shower and then I got a couple of cardboard boxes from my garage and I emptied out one of my cupboards that contains my shoes, my handbags, my purses and I pretty much sorted them all out. I put all of my, oh and my nice clothes um, as well as um, some sort of like posh clothes that I wear 
when I'm out and my summer clothes. So the clothes went into a box. The shoes are in this little box bag. I've got hats and gloves that are in a little mini bag and shoes and the handbags were in this little nice bag. Um, yeah, so they all went in either boxes or bags and they're downstairs in the garage and when it comes to it, when I finally sorted out all of my cupboards, I'm gonna go downstairs and look through all of that stuff and be like, I mean, if it is a lot, then I'll be like, do I need this, do I need to cut down, that sort of thing. Um, so at the moment, I'm just doing it slowly. Um, tomorrow, I'm gonna tidy up my clothes cupboard and if I'm awake, because I don't know how it's going to go yet, because tomorrow I'm working a night shift. It's a waking night shift, so I'll be awake from 8pm to 8am. So I'm going to be sleeping throughout the day, so it's going to be a little bit difficult. I don't know how it's going to go. So if I'm awake, um, then that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow and tidying that cupboard out. And then I'll move on to the next cupboard and so on and so forth. So it's like my aim to try and do like a cupboard each day. And so it's, it's kind of like a cleaning sort of routine as well. Um, so yeah, so I haven't done any reading. After I emptied that cupboard out, I then went on to film a couple of videos. And by that time, I was going to be late to go into work. So I like rushed off to work, made it in time, of course, because me and uh, haven't done any readings since because I finished at 10 p.m. I got back here I filmed the other videos I didn't get time to film and a couple of pictures that I lost on my laptop for some reason the pictures have disappeared and it's, it's really annoying me let's not get started on this let's not get started basically the picture file on my laptop disappeared and it's disappeared twice now. I've run a virus scan, I've run a malware scan, managed to find like one little virus thing so I'm hoping that's cleared the issue but I don't know, I don't know. I've renamed the, fo the folder Katie's pictures so we'll see if Katie's pictures the folder will disappear now. We'll see. Um, so editing videos at the moment whilst I read. I've updated my diary as well. So yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. But it's very nearly the early hours of Wednesday morning now. Um and my sleeping pattern is gonna be fucked from now on, let's put it that way. So yeah, that's all for this evening. Unfortunately, didn't get any reading done, but I've been quite productive as far as videos and packing and that sort of thing. I haven't watched any movies or TV shows, so I might do a bit of reading and then I'll put on Netflix and probably pop a movie on. Or watch a bit more of Once Upon a Time. I haven't quite decided yet, but I need to get a bit of reading done because I haven't been able to do any for the past few days. My head is just... It's all it's thinking about sorting shit out so I need to just try and I watch all these booktube videos guys I watch all these booktube videos of all you guys reading and the books you're hauling and I get all excited about reading I just don't get around to it it's yeah it's a vicious circle anyway that's enough for today I will try and see you guys tomorrow letting you guys know if I managed to get any reading done and yeah I will speak to you soon. Bye. Hey guys, so it's later on on Wednesday. It's about five o'clock at the moment in the afternoon, so it's just starting to get dark, which is why my light's on. Um, and massive, massive thing happened on YouTube today. They basically sent around emails to all people who upload to YouTube who haven't gained 1,000 subscribers or reached 4,000 video views but I think it's minutes apparently somebody confirmed um, which is even worse actually and yeah so all people that have been affected by that are going to be demonetized and are given 30 days to gain 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 minute views 
and if not you're going to be demonetized um yeah it's really really hit the youtube community and a lot of booktubers as well because there's a lot of really really small booktubers out there that really really want to do well could even myself actually i'm not that big of a booktuber and i got an email too um and it's hey it it took me a lot to get to where I am. I've been doing booktube for a few years now and I have struggled to get the views and the subscribers that I've had. And I'm I'm so grateful for what I've got. But, and you know what's, what's really, really annoyed me? That the big YouTubers really don't give a shit. They are just like, oh, we don't understand why you guys are so upset. It's a job. It's so easy to get a thousand subscribers a year, so if you can't do it, then you suck, basically. Um, and I found that really insulting, and, and honestly, I've kind of lost my love for big YouTubers because of that, just because they're not affected. Um, so, yeah, it's just, it's really put a downer on my day as well as everybody else's day. Um, so, yeah, I just, I just want to say that I support booktubers all the time. Like I am forever subscribing to new booktubers and I'm always commenting on their videos, liking them, that sort of thing. Because I love talking to you guys and I think that's just a big part of what booktube is. But, you know, this is a really big hit and I'm hoping that YouTube is going to sort it soon. Like they <laughs> went downhill ever since Google bought them, to be honest. And this Logan Paul thing I think has pretty much affected YouTube really really bigly on a whole so I'm hoping they're going to do something about it I'm hoping they don't take away things like having thumbnails or video scheduling you know getting paid for videos doesn't really matter to me it's more about I'm having fun I'm entertaining you guys and um, obviously it was kind of nice to be rewarded for that fact as a little side job sort of thing some people totally rely on YouTube and they don't get like other jobs from it and they try their best to get a little bit of money but yeah it's just it's just quite been quite shit really so I've kind of procrastinated today to be honest um been mostly on Twitter to be honest subscribing to more booktubers and talking to people and that sort of thing um I've done a little bit of reading of of show. I'm on page 48 now at the moment um, like I say I start work at 8pm so I'm going to in the next couple of hours I might have a little nap because I'm, I'm going to be working for like 12 hours 8pm to 8am I'm going to fall asleep at some point but I can't, I can't I'm at work, I've got to stay awake so lots of coffee lots of I don't know I really don't know um, so yeah I'm just going to leave that for today's video I'll see if I can get any reading done but I might have a little nap before I start work I tried to stay awake as best as I could this morning but I caved at about half four so I don't really know <laughs> I'm going to do my best though um, so yeah we'll see how it goes and I will see you guys tomorrow letting you guys know if I managed to get any reading done hey guys so it's actually Saturday now I was going to film um, but then I got a little bit carried away I did do quite a lot of reading and then I watched a movie on Netflix I've been trying to train myself to get back into my old sleeping pattern because my two night shifts are now finished they were quite successful night shifts but yes now I'm back um, into the daytime shifts but I don't start until Monday again so I'm just trying to train myself but it's like half two in the morning and I'm kind of tired I'm kind of tired so that's something but I just tell you what I've been reading Shell by Paula Rosson and I am now this much through it so that's like halfway actually and I am really enjoying it because when I finished the film on Netflix I was like I want to pick up Shell again and continue so yeah I'm gonna do that like until I sleep and I'm hoping that it will tire my eyes so that I 
people sleep. That's the plan anyway. So the biannual Bibliothon Readathon starts today, and I was actually like, I was lumbering and ahhing whether to join in. Because I normally try and incorporate the books that are on my January TBR into the TBR, so I've managed to pretty much do that. Um, I'm, I'm gonna kind of cheat with one of the challenges. Um, it's to basically um, pick a book that's referenced in another book, movie, or TV show, you see. So I'm kind of cheating here and being like Frankenstein. I don't know. I'm creating my own little twist on that challenge um, that this book is based on Frankenstein which is another book so yeah I'm, I'm yeah I'm cheating and I'm probably gonna be banned for that um, like smacked on the wrist or whatever but you know I'm currently reading it so if you know I can't I don't think I can find a book that's gonna go with that challenge other than that um, I just need to find a book that's less than 200 pages. I've got one that's literally just over 200 pages, so I might cheat with that one too, um, because that's on my TV and that's the library book. Um, other than that, I've got Girl Online, Mafiosa, um, and various other books. I've got my list here, actually. Um, Mafiosa, Pretty Deadly, All the Bright Places, Shell, and Girl Online. And obviously there's the group read of the world, but that will probably be my last minute read if I actually read all the other books. So yes, I'm going to be joining last minute because I'm off this weekend. I'm going to see how much reading I can get this weekend. Um, so that'd be cool. Um, so that's all the reading that I've done. So I'm going to jump back into this and hopefully I can sleep and then I'll probably will vlog for you guys later where I will let you guys know how I'm done with my read. Hey guys so it's Sunday and I'm here to update you on my reading for today. So I started I Houdini by Lynn Reed Banks. I'm on chapter 3. I'm 50% through and then I started listening to the audiobook of All the Bright Places by Jennifer Nevin. I've been listening to it as a way of getting me to sleep and I'm also um, listening to it as I commute in the car um, so I'm on like chapter 4 or something I'm not very far into it but I'm kind of remembering everything that went on because I haven't read this for like two years basically literally just before it came out because I had an e-arc of it and it's just like oh, getting all the feels of it again I loved it so much um so I'm probably gonna like read a bit more of that like and I was sitting here today and I was like I've got like just something under 2,000 books and I'm rereading a book <laughs> the logic the logic um, so today has been very, very productive. I woke up near 12 and I had a shower and then I went to Castle Point because it was my aim to go to Castle Point to get some plastic boxes for my books so I can start storing my books and then when I move this year I can just put it all straight away into the moving van and yeah, so I've boxed some up. I only managed to find like some 32 litre boxes and then I managed to find one, I think it was a 50 litre box in Sainsbury's. So I was like, oh well, it's better than nothing. And then I've got 10 50 litre ones that I bought on eBay. So they'll be on their way to me soon. So they will be used for my book cupboard. Um, and hopefully the two bookshelves that are in here so I've boxed downstairs, there was a bookshelf downstairs with my adult books in, I've boxed that up and I've boxed my wire books that are downstairs, so they're all downstairs in boxes and not in the garage just yet just leaving them in the boxes I might move them eventually um, and then I put two boxes of clothes downstairs in the garage and my PS3 and my Wii console there in the garage because I'm not using them. I emptied out my hardback book cupboard 
That's in a box, ready to go into the garage. And I've put my con my two consoles, um, my PS4 and my Xbox 360. They're in the cupboard at the moment. My the Xbox One is next to my TV because I don't know, like however long this will take. It might be a month, and you never know. I might want to play games. So I've got my two games boxes to go in the garage. And, you know, if I want to play a game, I can just go to the garage and pick one out. It's really not that difficult. So I've done that today. Um, so yeah, when I went to Castle Point, I also had a £40 book token to spend. £30 for Love to Shop and £10 was National Book Token. So I went into Debase Smith first. I spent the £10 one. Got my Nana little crosswords book because she loves her crosswords and she's been doing it this evening. So that's, that's pretty cool. And then I went to Waterstones to spend the £30. I had a £10 off Waterstones card. Um, and then I had one pound something off my actual Waterstones card. So all in all, about 40 something pounds to spend. I went a little bit overboard. I don't want to be too loud in case my nan hears, but um, yeah, just a little bit overboard, but don't often go. This is going to be last book haul for a while because I've decided after boxing these books, I'm going on a book buying ban. I... I'm literally going to probably do like a more of a diet, so like read 10 by 1 sort of things. It's kind of like rewarding myself for reading those 10 books. So I'm going to start doing that again. Um, pretty much going to start next week not buying any books. So Monday, nothing. Like nothing. I've got one pre-order on its way and then I've also got two books coming that I've bought off someone so those are the last three okay those are the last three so because I'm a little bit mental had a little book haul so I filmed like a book haul for you guys it's gonna be a big video but hey treat it as the last book haul for a while and um, I've sorted out my rereads I've got like two shelves of my red books that I would like to reread eventually Obviously, one shelf is full of the ones that I really want to reread, and 12 of those are all my 12 rereads of the year. And then I saved my um, Mortal Instruments books and the Infernal Device books because I'm going to be buddy reading those along with a couple of other booktubers. See, Dane, I did mention it. You can't have a go at me for that. Um, so, yeah, so. On the bottom shelf of my little bookshelf are the books that I filmed a video. I've hauled them, and these two shelves here are my rereads. And I've boxed away my red books that I don't need to reread. So I feel quite successful in today. It's been quite good. I spent a bit of money. Oh, yeah, I also bought two Harry Potter puzzles. They're like 500 piece puzzles, and I thought that'd be very really cool. Not like I need time to read some books. I need to play puzzles too, but I just thought they'd be pretty handy if I need a break from reading. So I thought that'd be pretty good. And I loved puzzles when I was a kid. So that's all that's really happened today. I'm back at work tomorrow, eight o'clock in the morning. My body clock still hasn't really got back to its usual. Although I am feeling kind of tired, so I'm hoping that because I've been productive today that I've tired myself out. So I'm gonna get a little bit of reading done. Might be a little bit of all by places because I'm kind of into that at the moment. So I'll probably dive into all the bright places. Or I could read a bit more about Houdini is it's only a short book. Get that finished maybe. I don't know, it's a very short book. I am re I am leaning towards all the bright places. Hey guys, so I'm wrapping up this week's vlog by letting you guys know the reading that I've got done. I am on page 100 exactly of all the bright places, which is a reread for me. And I'm actually really enjoying it. I'm kind of listening to the audiobook as well, but I'm also kind of physically reading it too and just remembering everything is just bringing back so many memories of when I first read it. Oh, it's so cool. So I'm definitely, definitely enjoying that. So 
I'm going to be reading more of that tonight. I'm doing a sleep shift tomorrow, so I've got time before work to get some reading done. And yeah, I'm just, I'm loving this book so much. So honestly, that's all the reading that I managed to do. I haven't done any reading today. I've just listened to a bit of the audiobook whilst driving to work and then driving back from work. And even now, I'm just sort of like, I was just sat here just before filming this and I was just reading the pages like physically of what I was listening to. And I was just like, my heart, my feels, my everything. So yeah, that's all really for this week's vlog. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Do give me a thumbs up if you have. And let me know what you guys have managed to read this week or what you're currently reading and so on and so forth. But I hope you guys are going to have an absolutely fantastic day wherever you are. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Always keep smiling, keep reading and be happy. My name is Katie and I'll see all of you wonderful, awesome people in my next video. Bye!